everyone. So today's video, I'm gonna be crawling out of my art block and respectfully pulling you guys along with me if you are also suffering from art block. Uh, now, I do wanna say no pressure, obviously. Uh, I know how crazy art block can be and like sometimes you can force yourself out of it. Sometimes you definitely cannot. So if you feel like you really can't draw right now, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, don't feel pressure for me. I just want to say before this starts, this video took three attempts. The first attempt, it was so horrible, so fake, so like forced. Like I just like caged myself into drawing on my desk and it made my art block 10 times worse. So definitely don't recommend doing that. Uh, the second attempt, I filmed the entire thing, dropped my phone on a lake, lost all my iCloud footage and storage and stuff like that. Um, and, and, and yeah, uh, <laughs> it's gone. It's gone forever. Now, the third attempt, I kind of just like fell off. Uh, it was a week after I dropped my phone in the lake and I don't know, just a lot of things were happening, which I'll get into during the voiceover for this video, just because it would be kind of boring to get into right now with, with my hands and my desk. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of things have been going on. Uh, I haven't necessarily been heavily art blocked for the past week. I think I've just been casually art blocked. So um, this video is still like genuine, like I am suffering. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, and if you're suffering too, then uh, I hope I hope this video helps in a casual, not forced, not intimidating kind of way. I don't know. Anyways, um, today's video, I'm going to be working in my sketchbook, but it's not a sketchbook session because I noticed sketchbook sessions stress me out and I do not want to continue like the pattern of being stressed and forcing myself to work in my sketchbook, forcing myself to be fancy with it. You know, like I want this to be a casual crawl out of my art block with me kind of thing. So I actually posted a community post on my channel asking for like advice when it comes to art block. And there's a lot of incredible replies on that community post. Uh, if you're feeling down and you just wanna like see other people's opinions and stuff like that, I highly recommend reading through that community post. It's really supportive. The advice is like not overwhelming. It's just like, it's really smart advice most of the time. I really appreciated reading through those comments. So like, thank you all so much for the comments in that post. It really helped me and it made me realize that my first attempt at making the art block video was just like so fake and forced, you know? Anyways, one of the main advice that I've seen on that post is trying new supplies. And so today we have some new supplies from Artex. They very kindly sent me these acrylic marker sets. I thought they were just gonna send me one set, but they actually ended up sending me both. So uh, I already opened these as you can see, and then I dropped my phone in the lake. So <laughs> yeah, these are already opened. Also, I already swatched out the colors on this one page in my sketchbook. Let me see. Oh yeah, this page here. So this page here has all the swatches and it also has a drawing of our new kitten, Mishmish. Mish. He's a cutie pie. Um, so today I'm going to be actually trying the markers out properly, you know, like mixing it all together and making artwork with it on this spread here and potentially this spread here, maybe even this one. This is a sticker I got from an artist. Here's her website. It's adorable. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm going to stop procrastinating like I have been for the past 40 minutes trying to make this intro and just jump straight into it. Uh, I have a couple ideas of what I'm gonna draw, uh, mainly because the past few weeks have been so chaotic, like so many things happen at once, which I'll go over as I'm drawing each thing. Um, yeah, I've never been so busy in my life. It's kinda, it's kinda crazy, but it also kinda helps with the art block in a weird way. So I'm really excited to get started. It's been a couple of days that I've wanted to start this, so. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I did uh, in in this spread here is uh, glue my driving license receipt. It's just like the receipt I got after passing my G2 test. I can now drive alone, so that's great. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the first drawing I did was of a school bus. And this school bus comes with a really long story. And that long story is connected to how I dropped my phone in the lake. <laughs> 
So this story all starts when I decided I needed a change of pace. I needed to go outside, touch some, not grass, but like snow and ice. And yeah, I went on this, uh, what's it called? Uh, winter camp. It was a winter camp revival retreat thingy. <laughs> And it honestly helped me with my art block so, so much. So I feel like my first piece of advice for this video, uh, for anyone who's also suffering for art from art block is to, I don't know, do something you haven't done before or just like break the routine. Um, so I went to this camp, uh, spur of the moment decision, and it was really, really fun. There was no Wi-Fi. And also I dropped my phone on the lake, so that kind of helped. But uh, yeah, there's no Wi-Fi, no signal or anything. So you really did have to just go out in nature and, you know, have fun, uh, do some sports. I decided to go cross country skiing and we went skiing over a frozen over lake. So like the, the lake was frozen and it was solid and we went skiing, cross country skiing on it. And basically, long story short, my phone dropped out of my pocket somehow. And then I went searching for it right away because I noticed it was missing right away and couldn't find it. I think me, two friends and my sister walked like 10 kilometers just looking for it all day and even at night a little bit. And there's just no sign of it on the trail. So yeah, I just resigned myself to the fact that like my phone is gonna sink to the bottom of a lake this summer or spring even. But yeah, all my data was gone. Uh, my, my SIM card was gone. Like my, my brand new phone was gone. It was actually a brand new phone. That's the worst part. I forgot to mention. I bought it like a week before. It was seven days old. Anyways, um, very traumatizing. <laughs> but like the thing is, um, because I didn't have a phone, I couldn't take a lot of pictures. So I used my sister's phone. Anyways, that's, that's kind of besides the point. I really enjoyed the, the camp besides my phone being lost forever. Um, it was really, it was a really nice change of pace. It was beautiful scenery. I got so inspired by so many things. And that's what leads us to this bus. Cause um, on the way back home, uh, our bus crashed. Uh, well, not crashed, crash is kind of dramatic, but our bus got stuck in someone's driveway. Uh, it was kind of like a ditch, like a downward slope. So the bus was stuck and we had to stand out there for like an hour and 30 minutes. But yeah, that's the story of how I lost my phone and how I got over like my initial art block. Uh, I feel like this, this revival camp really helped me in a way that not a lot of things could have. Um, so I feel like if you're in a really, really bad art block and there's just like nothing that's inspiring you, you feel like giving up on art because that's how I felt. It was really dramatic, but uh, my I highly advise ah, I highly advise doing like outdoor sports or just like going on a walk and a hike. It doesn't have to be a camp, but uh, any outdoor activity, preferably without any Wi-Fi, uh, it's just so helpful. And doing it without the intention of doing art, so like just doing it casually for fun, helps a lot as well because like. I notice something with myself, the minute I do something for the sake of getting out of an art block, it just doesn't work. So I try to not do that anymore. Like if I'm watching a show, I don't do it with the intention of doing fan art anymore. I just do it for fun, you know, with, with zero pressure. Anyways, now that you know the context for this school bus, I thought I'd talk a bit about the actual acrylic markers that Artex sent to me. So these acrylic markers are water-based and they have like a brush tip. So it's really handy for like coloring large areas as well as like small details. I found the like the width variation of like the brush tip was just so good. I was I was actually really surprised. Like I was able to write like really tiny words, like put tiny highlights and also just like color in big blocks of area, if that makes sense. <laughs> Now, I do have to admit the nibs did wear out a little bit over time, but they still kept a point. It's just like, I feel like they got a little bit flimsy in some of the colors and when the paper would tear a little bit just because of the paper, not really the pens. And there wasn't a lot of tearing by the way, but like when the paper would tear a bit, you just have to like clean off the nib because like some stuff would get attached and it would be annoying. <laughs> so as for the paint quality itself, 
the, the paint pens are quite opaque. So some of the colors are a little bit less opaque, like the whites. Uh, you could see hints of the tone tan paper underneath still. Um, putting multiple layers does help though. So like if you layer the whites and the, the cream colors, uh, it does get really opaque, but the darker colors are super opaque. And you can layer like yellow on top of orange and it shows up super clearly. Another thing that really surprised me is that the colors blend so well. And I really love the blend effect with acrylic markers. So like uh, on the black parts of the bus and also like a bit of the orangey yellow parts, I mixed two colors together and it was really easy. You just have to like put the colors one after the other without too much like time in between. And it worked out really well. I was pleasantly surprised. So I feel like they're really easy to use. You don't have to like shake them for 20 minutes and like press down on the nib or anything. The paint just comes straight out right away. Uh, it's surprisingly opaque, maybe not as opaque as Posca pens. So I, I don't think this is like a Posca pen replacement. It's like a similar material as Posca pens. And I really like them. So yeah, if you're looking for like a quick way to fill in color in your sketchbook, uh, like that blends has a like brush nib so like with variation you don't have to buy like 10 different types of pens with different widths um i i recommend this product it's it's really fun i think i like it more than uh water-based markers i i like acrylic markers more than water-based and um also another thing the texture of the paint that comes out it's really nice and matte but still shiny like acrylics it reminds me of acrylic gouache uh, from what I've seen from other artists. Like uh, the matte finish is so cool. And yeah, honestly, I love this product. <laughs> like I'm surprised. I thought that I would struggle with this medium and that I would end up like kind of hating it, but I got it anyways. Like I, I accepted the offer anyways, because I wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone and try a new art supply. I was desperate, but Honestly, I'm so surprised with how much I like these. I'm definitely gonna grab them often, uh, especially for like uh, blocks of color, like behind characters or things and stuff like that. Maybe not for hyper detailed things all the time because this was a little bit tedious, but if I ever need to cover something up or like do writing on top of something, uh, I'll definitely reach for these. Also, even though the process was a tiny bit tedious or just like tricky, like blocking in the colors, uh, if I'm ever not in the mood to like paint, cause like sometimes bringing out the water and the brushes and all the acrylic or gouache paints is kind of tedious. So um, I'll definitely reach for these instead. Uh, it's, it's just really fun and it keeps it casual I feel cause of the limited color palette. Like there's only so much colors you can use and there's only so much blending you can do as well. So yeah, I think it's a nice challenge and it helps me uh, minimize the colors I use and try new things. So like this purple yellowish uh, color scheme is not something that I would normally do at all. So I was really happy about it. All right, so here I'm just scrapbooking some random papers and I really love the effect that it makes. I lost a little bit of footage, but the imported footage is right over here. Uh, so over here, I'm drawing Cartman and Butters from South Park. I recently became obsessed with South Park. I've watched it before, like when I was like, I don't know, 17, 18 or something, like a couple years back. Uh, and then I stopped and now I'm just like rewatching it and I got further than I've ever gone before. <laughs> it's so addicting and so stupid, but I love it. Um, so yeah, Cartman is probably one of my favorite characters, despite how like obnoxious and insane he is. 
but uh, I felt like drawing them both up here because uh, I like mixing and matching things. I love it when the sketchbook spread just makes no sense. Like here you have like a crashed bus, a school bus, and then there's like two South Park characters. But also they kind of match because like they do have a school bus at South Park. So I guess it does weirdly match together. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here I'm just coloring them. I was really worried about coloring them with acrylic markers, but it actually turned out pretty okay. Uh, it was difficult, but yeah, I don't think moleskin paper is meant for these, but it still kind of works. Also, I combined the acrylic markers with my Artex uh, colored pencils. I actually had no idea that the brands matched until just like two seconds ago while voiceovering. <laughs> but yeah, these are the Artex colored pencils. I really like them for line arts. They're not the best at blending, if I'm being honest. Um, they're, they're okay at blending, like you can blend with them, but they're definitely not the best. The two mediums ended up working like really well together, surprisingly. Like uh, I didn't have too much difficulty layering the colored pencils on top of the acrylic pens. And also like, I just love the texture of the colored pencils and uh, like doing all the line art with the acrylic pens would have been like really tedious, I feel. So yeah. All right, I think I'm finally done with this spread here. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I might just add some like final touches with the whites. Forgot about that. <laughs> here we go. As you can see, the paint pens are really opaque. I love how they work. And overall, I feel like this is a really good product and really affordable too. I like it more, I like these paint pens more than the few Posca pen. Nah, I can't speak. <laughs> I like these paint pens more than the tiny amount of Posca pens that I have, but maybe don't take my word for it because again, I've only ever used the white and orange Posca pens. So I really don't know. Uh, but anyways, I really love these. They're affordable. The brush tip makes it really flexible and you can get like uh, line width variation super easily. Also, you don't have to shake these for 20 minutes and like press them down and potentially destroy the nibs. Just try to get the ink out. The ink comes out immediately. So um, yeah, anyways, enough talk about the pens. Um, I think I'm gonna move on to this page here. Just in case, uh, I don't think it's gonna smudge or get ruined, but just in case, I'm gonna put a tissue here. Uh, that way when I'm pressing hard on this page while drawing, nothing crazy happens. All right, so for the second spread, I basically just drew a bunch of things that like happened during the week after the camp. Uh, my week got so busy and I wasn't able to like draw much and uh, like, like record anything because <laughs> that's why this video is so late it's just like one thing came up after the other and it was so intense and crazy but yeah uh this is a drawing of myself it's a self-portrait <laughs> i don't know i kind of like drawing myself because um it's it's fun uh, and like it's not an original character it's it's literally just me so i don't feel too much cringe drawing myself uh, i have a problem with making original characters but that's for like another video maybe. Anyways, beside me, I'm drawing my friend, but my hair gets in the way so much that I just cropped the footage. So sorry about that. And then down here, I'm drawing another friend. They're actually sisters. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just drawing her in a scarf. So super tiny. Um, you can tell who's my favorite. Just kidding. Or am I? Next on this page, I'm just drawing me crying over my um, lost phone. <laughs> Uh, it's it's kind of dramatic, but I really like how this sketch turned out. So I want to go back to the topic of art block since that's kind of what this video is about. <laughs> it's so unorganized though. Like I wish I could learn how to make like informative videos that are like well structured and whatnot, but I kind of just get confused and start rambling. <laughs> 
Anyways, before I start rambling again, um, a second thing that I learned about Art Block during this whole process is that social media like Instagram,、uh, Pinterest, those are the two that really impact me.、Um, social media is crazy.、Uh, and taking a break from social media was so important for me to get over this Art Block. Like, as you could see on this spread and even the previous spread, I'm not using any reference photos from Pinterest. I'm not doing just like random things off the internet. And I tried my best to stay off Instagram for the most part for the past few weeks. So I'm not saying Pinterest and Instagram are like evil and you should never like、um, use them.、Uh, I'm just saying like sometimes it's just so handy to take a break from them. Every time I opened Pinterest, I just got so much anxiety, so overwhelmed, like everything all at once. Cause There's just too much inspiration on there. There's too many reference photos, and it all becomes kind of like meaningless. Like, it's not really special anymore, in my opinion, because it's not even a photo that I took. It's not something that like means anything to me. So, I was, I feel like getting off Pinterest specifically, like Instagram is still fun. I still browse through it a little bit, but specifically Pinterest,、uh, taking a break from it helped me so much. And I feel so much happier now that I don't browse it as often as I used to. Now, I do still use Pinterest. Like, there's this other product I'm doing right now where I need it for like dramatic landscape photos. So,、um, yeah, like Pinterest definitely has its place, but I was just using it too much and I was getting imposter syndrome and just like completely overwhelmed. So, yeah. Anyways, over here is the color scheme that I picked for these two pages.、Uh, I never used purple and turquoise together before, and now I'm obsessed. Like, I really love the two colors, and I feel like the limited color palette of the Artex paint markers really helped me pick a color scheme that I usually don't do, you know? So, yeah, I guess that's another unintentional pro for the markers. <laughs> Also, coloring in all the words with the acrylic marker was so nice. Like,、uh, usually I go over the color race pencil words, like the initial sketch words, with colored pencils, and it's not nearly as opaque. Like, the purple color race pencil still shines through. So, I usually have to like erase and then do it all over again. But the acrylic markers make it so simple because it just like completely obliterates the color race pencil. and... Like, lays opaquely on top of it. Anyways, after that, I basically just added some borders and some final stars, and that was it for the markers.、Uh, for this page, I decided to use watercolors to color in、uh, like most of the sketches. For this sketch down here,、uh, basically, it's another self portrait、uh, of me pointing at my pinky finger. Or more specifically, the ring on my pinky finger, but it's not really clear. Anyways, in engineering,、uh, I think it's just an Ontario thing or maybe a Canada thing, I'm not sure. But they give us an iron ring that isn't made of iron to like celebrate us graduating. <laughs> I'm graduating this summer, hopefully. Like,、uh, this right now is my last semester, spring I'll be done. So, yeah, I got my not iron iron ring. I think it's made of like steel or something. <laughs> But I think iron just sounds cooler. And also, there's like a whole story about it, like why we have the ring and whatnot. I won't bore you with it. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of weird, but also kind of cool. I don't know. I really like this ring. <laughs> I actually sleep with it now. Like, it never comes off my finger. So, yeah, I wanted to draw something for that in my sketchbook. So, I drew these like cute little doodles. I actually really like the style,、um, like the smile on the first. Uh, doodle of myself is just so funny. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, here I drew another、um, another variation of my friend being smothered by、uh, a scarf. I drew her twice and her sister only once. So, you guys can probably guess who's my favorite now. All right, so here's when I finally start painting with the watercolors. I use watercolors just because they're a lot faster than acrylic、uh, paint markers. Uh, especially for things that are like so detailed and like composed of lots of different colors.、Um, so, yeah, I had, I had fun using the watercolors and they, they contrasted nicely with like the acrylic circles and stars and stuff like that. All right, so I don't have much to say for the painting process of this video since、um, 
it's just painting. But um, I hope you guys enjoy watching the process. And I also really hope that this video helped in some way with like any art block or struggles you guys are having. Feel free to like comment down below like any advice you have or any struggles you're having. Um, I feel like we can make like a support group chat in the comment section <laughs> um, for, for all people struggling with art block and you know, just like creative, creative block, um, lack of inspiration, that sort of thing. Oh wait, I think the word I was looking for was burnout. Cause like there's like art block and then there's also burnouts. So yeah, um, I'll go now and I'll see you guys again in the outro for this video. All right, so I think uh, I'm all done for today's video, drawing-wise. I still have to like edit the whole thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this spread turned out. I just really love the color scheme, which is like the turquoise blue, uh, purple, and yeah, some splashes of yellow. But um, honestly, this was so fun. I feel like I was more authentic and real with my sketchbook um it wasn't really like performative uh sketchbook work for the internet's sake <laughs> uh like i actually really did want to draw these things and like i don't know it felt special uh i'm also glad that i kept some of these as just like um uncolored sketches just like lined with colored pencils because i think they look cute as is <laughs> and color would kind of take away from it and also make it blend into the rest of the page. I feel like because they're not colored, they stand out surprisingly. Anyways, um, back to the first page. Yeah, I'm really happy with how these markers worked. It was such a fun experience. I really enjoyed like trying something new, experimenting. Um, I really love how this school bus turned out. Uh, I think it needs a little bit of tweaking and final touches. But maybe I'll just leave it as is. I like how messy it is. Well, not messy, but like natural it looks. I honestly feel like re-inspired uh, about art and also just like YouTube in general. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like I can consider myself past my art block right now, but still like recovering in a way. <laughs> okay, I'm packing up and I'm so sleep deprived. I forgot to say. <laughs> Like a huge thank you to Artex for sending these amazing paint markers. They were so fun to use. I feel like I really needed the change of 
medium and they work so well. Um, I'm, I was like very pleasantly surprised. I didn't think I would be able to do something like this with them. They managed to blend. They were super opaque mostly. Most of the colors were super opaque. Um, and they layered on top of each other very, very well. So yeah, thank you so much to Artex for sending these. They're honestly a quality product. And if you'd like to check them out yourself, uh, I have a link in the description below uh, that leads to all their websites and stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's it for today's video. Um, thank you all so much for watching, for all the support. And uh, I will be doing the 60 fan art video, just not immediately. Uh, maybe maybe in April most likely so if you still have a character that you want me to draw the community post is still open for quite a while It's not this video this fan art video is not gonna be out for quite a while because I have some other big and like major projects that have deadlines um, I think two other projects that just have deadlines and I have to get them done first So yeah Anyways, uh, I know I said this already but thanks again for watching I hope this video was helpful in a way and I wish you guys all the best with your own art and art block and you know like creative burnout that sort of thing <laughs> but yeah I'll uh, I'll see you all in the next video in a week or two weeks bye